Why can't you find love? How long have you really been single? Really? Having trouble finding that special soulmate? I can solve this one. Secrets of Birthdays, now live for purchase. Your love trouble? Over. All that and more at secretsofbirthdays.com. So Hello, your Royal Majesty, and welcome back to Soul Horoscope's Weekly Edition. I'm your host of the universe, Christopher Watecki. I'm also the creator of SoulGarden.me, a place for souls living their brightest. Is that you? If so, claim your throne among our little lions here. We have a whole bunch of articles going by. We have a whole staff of lions. I have a Leo rising, so I'm kind of partial to the Leos on the site. But I'm just saying, come on down and create a home from home away from home for you. And it's really a fad tabulous week and year and decade if you play your cards right. Some mega Jupiter power for the Leos and their career legacy, pointing their life in the right direction. Finally, the opportunity to point your life in the right direction and actually see yourself go places. Now, up until now, you've been clearing what's in the way with career legacy thinking or what's in the way of making good decisions for yourself because we're talking about the decision engine of the soul, the Saturn Capricorn legacy. So you are massaging your decision engine and this year with Jupiter, you're gonna multiply your decisions by a hundred or a thousand. It's really unlimited possibility. It depends on your own limits on yourself, frankly. Up until this point, you've been clearing career issues and this last weekend, the moon was full in Scorpio, putting out solid nest rest, wanting to feel secure. And if you wanna feel secure, what has to change? career legacy. As we begin on Monday, Saturn rules a day, which means it's time to decide and commit generally to where you see career legacy going and commit generally to a policy of decision making. That when I make decisions, I'll always include my heart and I'll always include the needs of my home and family and I'll always include and I'll always include in my decision making. So you are committing to a decision making policy and you're probably committing to a general direction and you think your career is going so far. You have to say think because we haven't even hit Jupiter yet. The moon in Sag is a nice little bonus for the Leos because as you're making these critical decisions, your inner child is lit up like a Christmas tree. The moon in Sagittarius brings that inner prince or princess out to the table who really is running the show and so therefore better be present when there's a vote happening in Congress. Then on Tuesday, it's time to act. So it's time to tell your boss, tell your colleagues, tell your coworkers. Whatever it takes to put into action yesterday's decision, do, and don't think like you don't know enough. Go ahead and get started what you can because often we need to see the start to make adjustments. So go ahead, start it, move forward, take action, show the universe you are so serious, you're gonna go ahead and get started right away. Just don't step on anyone's toes. And the moon in Sagittarius continues to keep your inner child on the front table as you're doing this. So it's a creative day, it's a fun day, it's an action-filled day if you play your cards right. Then comes my birthday. Oh my, <laughs> the universe has given me quite a present this year. This is called a solar return, by the way, if you guys wanna know. This is what my solar return chart looks like. So if we sold soul, uh, soul Garden stock, at least you know to buy. But here's the thing, I have a Leo rising, so this is a real experiment. If Soul Garden doesn't do quantum in a year, then I don't know anything about astrology. And you too. Why? Well, because this whole soul pyramid is a double soul pyramid, like a star David. And what it's going to do is take this Jupiterian energy and manifest whatever it is you act on. So those who are watching Soul Garden who are aware of this, you are taking one moment in time and control of your life and it's going to pay off many times from being aware in this one moment. That's how the universe works. One moment changes so much, right? This is the moment. How does this play out? Well, your mind, Mercury, now enters in and recreates a soul pyramid in Earth, which we saw earlier, and I said it would come back, and here it is on my birthday. And what happens is as your thoughts kind of get into the whole career thing, finally your mind is catching up after the retrograde. Then the soul pyramid is on where now your career moves forward. That means money moves forward with Mars. That means that your lifestyle changes with Pluto and Capricorn. So it is career, money, lifestyle change. And on Wednesday, you're feeling the lifestyle change because the moon is in uh, Capricorn. So you're gonna feel this change. So you'll be feeling the change on Wednesday. You'll start to feel the new career on Wednesday, whether you felt it or not so far. You will feel it on Wednesday in a big way. 
Plus, we have this soft soul pyramid going on. This is soft because it's a water planet tying into two air planets, which does count, but it's not a pure soul pyramid. That's because everything gets water compassionate washed up here in Pisces. Neptune in Pisces, by the way, is focusing on God being a part of the conversation when it comes to what you trust and don't trust. So if you don't know what to say yes to, ask God. Neptune is there to tell you, do this. It may not make sense, but it will later if you have a strong relationship to your higher self and you are determining the yes and no's, the boundaries through God consciousness. When that happens, your place in society buds open and your mind is free of your own tyranny and you can move forward now with the right attitude. So by listening to your intuition about yeses and nos, you move forward in the world and your mind becomes now authoritative and not the victim. Very powerful moving here and a big part of it all, right? Plus you got career and you got your reputation working on at the same time. I think the Leos have got it made. Then comes Thursday, which is now the emotional follow through of what I just said. Soul pyramid still in effect. Moon still in Capricorn. That means you are hyper aware. You're feeling every bump in the road. But what you're doing is you are combining your emotional, your emotions around lifestyle with your career choices. So it's not just the successful career. It's the corner office where the sun isn't too hot after two. All right? It's thinking like that because you're putting work lifestyle and how you work and how you live in the moment into some of your wish making here in the career legacy where you've got all of your cards stacked up this year, your majesty. So Thursday is really about feeling and owning the new career and feeling the new career in the moment. Go ahead and feel that promotion in the moment on Thursday. Now, some extra help for you. Don't forget, Tuesdays, Thursdays at that happy hour time for Soul Garden, 11 a.m. Pacific is where we do office hours. Practitioners come online and help you out if you need any help feeling through this. We're here for you Tuesday, Thursday, happy hour. Come on down to Soul Garden and get happy. And if you're watched over by the Guardian Agency, I will send out personal texts on Thursday that will help you get to the bottom of your emotional state of awareness. So as you move into Chapter 3 of Taurus, Your Majesty, you can hold the emotional tone that goes back to your own birth and your birth data if you're watched over in GA. We have a quick little commercial here, but when I come back, get your Friday dance and Jupiter Fest after this. It's my birthday, and for my birthday, I'm giving you a present. If you buy a one-hour reading between now and May 9th, that's my birthday, I'll give you a free 30-minute follow-up until May 9th. So order one today at soulmart.me. And we are back, Your Majesty, and it is the magical times. For one, it's Friday. Thank God it's Friday, and it's Film Friday. It's a Jupiter Friday. It's a Disco Friday. It is Jupiter Fest. Now, Jupiter rules Friday, which means when it comes to career, unlimited possibilities. Walk the day and just look at unlimited possibilities. Don't say no to anything. It's yes, 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 maybe and, yes, and. That is the magic of Jupiter, the power of three, if you don't know, a multiple of three. Three to three, three to three to three. That's the fastest multiple. So what you want to do is live in that three, that freedom, and live in the freedom and own it in your career. All right, that's all you have to do. You're pumping opportunities and optimism into your life. Now the moon is in Aquarius, so your emotional state is all about fairness, relationships, partnerships. For those of you who are trying to pull in a man or a woman into your legacy, which is part of career too, and my legacy is I'll be married to this kind of person. Well, then Friday, you wanna go ahead and shift gears, add a career, and definitely put some of that emotional energy into the type of partnership, the justice, the fairness, etc. that you want. So definitely you wanna get paid and more, unlimited possibilities. Then Saturday, it is actually Jupiter Fest. Wow, wow, look at that, oh my God. What happens is the sun conjuncts Jupiter at 22 degrees, which is a master degree if you don't know. And what that means is we hold emotional space. So on Saturday and Sunday, if you want to do this whole soul garden weird stuff where we manifest reality, this is how you do it. You walk this weekend like you already have the promotion. You walk this weekend like you already have the millions. Everywhere you look, be in that new state of awareness and unlimited possibility. So it's like adding an ellipses to everything you do. Here you go, I'm gonna give you this love and dot dot dot, meaning it's infinite possibilities. Dot dot dot. 
That's what Jupiter Fest is about. That's what Jupiter is about. Just getting the human being to add three dots that hold space for three extensions of where you are is Jupiter. Getting your freaking mind to think into three into the future is Jupiter. Okay? So when it comes to your career, own it. How's it gonna happen, Chris? Here's how it'll happen. God's mapped it all out. <laughs> Once you start thinking it, then suddenly you start wanting it, then suddenly your life changes, and then your inner child kicks in with your boundaries, and then over here, <clears throat> what is that planet? Oh, that's Venus, your social life kicks in, and then over into Saturn, your mind finally goes sane. That's God's plan for how to make what Leo's heart wants happen. Then comes Sunday. <laughs> On Sunday, the universe does another neat little trick. On the one hand, the sun and Jupiter both whoop, whoop, hop over to 23 degrees at the same time, Perfect ballet, can't write this stuff. And the moon crosses over Neptune, so you get vulnerable and your emotions become very sensitive to these whole trust God consciousness with where you draw the lines, the yeses and the noes. So you want to give your emotional keys over to your higher self to say the yeses and noes. How does that play out? It means this, hey, you want to go to the market today? Hmm, ask your higher self, yes, no, no. Just let your higher self make some of these decisions, especially on Sunday. That's how God consciousness actually gets you there. And that actually enlightens the second soul pyramid, which leads to your success out in society and getting back control of your brain. So this is the whole grand plan of universe. And on Sunday, you are feeling your new trust. You are surrendering to the trust and intimacy, which is activating the second part and pushing Jupiter. From this point on, the sun goes in front of Jupiter and Jupiter is pushing us, not pulling us. So we start speeding up. And we've got a nice little dream catcher here from the universe. Thanks, God. It came on my birthday. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> all right, your majesty, that's all I have. I'll see you in seven days. Until then, live, love, be.